All right, guys, we have to have another serious conversation. Um, I had a great coaching session today. And the coaching session was with this terrific viewer from YouTube, um, an immigrant uh, from Yugoslavia, and has been in the United States uh, just absolutely kicking butt. Graduated with a four-year degree, uh, has grown his income to this point all the way to about $20,000 every single month. Here's the downside. Very little of it is left over. And throughout the conversation, I'm starting to learn a little bit more and more and more about this individual that led me to make this video for you. We have to put a scam alert out there on the internet today. As a public service announcement, it is my obligation to you as my viewers to warn you of some of the solutions that are currently being sold here on YouTube. Unfortunately, I'm gaining more and more information uh, on a regular basis that uh, has me very concerned. So there are three specific solutions that are available right now that I wanna go through. I'm gonna go through them um, and give you as much information as I have, and I'm gonna encourage you to do your research as well. And it's going to, um, it's gonna be specifically about three different organizations that are currently selling products or systems or services that I wanna warn you about. Um, and you may be familiar with them. I'm not gonna name names. I, it's not my duty to throw specific people under the bus as long as I can give you enough to recognize the red flags when you see them. So the purpose of today's video is to help you recognize some of the scams that are going on in this industry where people are out there talking about getting you access to various types of money and or helping you invest in real estate. So let's start there. The individual that I was speaking with this morning is a huge fan of a turnkey real estate investing agency that helps people basically buy investment properties. Um, the information that's shared is terrific. My experience and personal first impression of the information that's being provided is that it's very good, that the content is, is on point. Um, I only have a limited experience personally with this organization, with this outfit. Frankly, it wasn't that favorable. Uh, I am not a paying customer, so I am not speaking from that perspective. However, as you may or may not know, we do have a contest on this channel where each and every week we're giving away one $25 Amazon gift card and every single month we select one winner up until October of a Skype two hour individual one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me personally. And I had a conversation just last week with a person that was warning me about the guy that I'm speaking with now. And we were discussing again about our objective opinions and, and frankly, he enlightened me to some of the uh, reputation results that were coming up as of late regarding this outfit. And as I started to do my own homework and dig in, uh, I found the same to be true. Now we're going to talk, uh, we're going to come back to that here in just a bit, but just know that um, this is a major component to what we're doing here, that there's a huge difference between somebody that puts out really, really good content here on YouTube and somebody that actually fulfills on a service or a product or a program that they sell you later. So if somebody's charging you money, they need to deliver above and beyond what you've paid either in time and or money. You have to get a return on your investment or it wasn't a good purchase. So content's one thing, the deliverables and the fulfillment, the execution is an entirely different subject. Now, the other two outfits that we need to talk about here today, uh, one is talking about helping get access to exorbitant amounts of capital, mostly in the form of both business and personal credit cards. We've been familiar with this outfit for a very long time. I've had interactions with the folks at this outfit and those interactions were positive. All of the individuals that I'm talking about today are likable. I have no issue with them on a personal level. What I take issue with are their professional practices. And the reason that I am so strongly against any company that's willing to help anyone get access to as much money as possible is that it's very, very dangerous. Now, this specific company makes that danger even more serious because they take power of attorney and start submitting applications on behalf of their clientele. There are two forms of payment for this company. The first is one upfront fee. In fact, the individual that I was having a coaching session with where we were doing a quick, a quick start analysis, we were basically determining whether this person was a good fit for VIP had already paid this person $5,000. That 
That $5,000 led to a $55,000 total sum of acquired credit card limits, of which $35,000 had already been used. Now, it was not used in a way that created more wealth, which isn't the fault of the outfit. The company that helped them get access to this money is not responsible for the mismanagement of the money if in fact it was mismanaged. I look at borrowing money for any reason other than emergency survival and or wealth creation as mismanagement of the money. That's a, a fiscal irresponsibility, okay? So this person's not responsible for fiscal irresponsibility. However, anybody that's willing to put somebody into significant amounts of credit should then be able to support that person in how that money is used in order to be safe about it. Otherwise, it poses tremendous dangers to the average American. The second way that this company charges is instead of charging $5,000, they may charge a percentage of what they help an individual get. Now we've seen various companies along the way doing this type of business where they're providing a solution of acquiring new capital for their clientele and they'll charge anywhere between nine all the way up to 18%. In fact, the high teens is more common than is single digit. So if somebody's paying 18% in order to get access to $100,000 worth of capital, that's gonna cost them $18,000 upfront just to get access to an additional $82,000 of availability, at which time you have no idea how to use that money safely without going out and actually doing it the hard way. From that perspective alone, I, I find tremendous problems with that business model, but it gets even worse. This specific business has been accused, there are allegations by my current coaching members that some of them have been encouraged to use the credit card accounts that they've been getting in a fraudulent manner. Not only are the credit cards being used in a fraudulent manner, but they're also being opened up without the knowledge or necessarily consent on each and every individual account. Because they require power of attorney from their client, they are capable of submitting applications on behalf of their client, which means that not only are new accounts being opened, but they're being opened in business names under businesses that the clients did not know about ahead of time. They were just simply sent the information after the fact. So we're gonna come back again to how do we prevent this moving forward here in a moment. The third outfit that I have a problem with on YouTube today talks about equity in your property. And using that equity in a way where you can actually get access to first lien home equity lines of credit instead of your existing fixed mortgage. Now, to see why I hate home equity lines of credit, make sure you watch this video here. We'll put the link in the description below for that as well. And just know that in all of my time helping thousands and thousands of families since 2005, when we first started coaching people individually, I can't remember the last time I ever recommended somebody replace their low fixed first mortgage with a first lien home equity line of credit in order to accelerate the elimination of that mortgage. There are far safer and better ways of doing that whereby you don't have to pay somebody thousands of dollars for some magical list that you can't go out and get on your own. You can go out and get that on your own. If you just know how to ask the right questions and gather the right information, not only can you get access to that type of a debt weapon, but you can get access to any type of debt weapon on a perpetual level every single year, which is why we recommend the hand-holding experience. So while it might seem self-serving for me to say that those three solutions are certainly not in your best interest, or you should at least pursue research further to consider whether or not the pros outweigh the cons. The truth is they all have a dog in the race. I don't have a dog in the race. I'm gonna literally guide each and every single person that we come into contact with down the absolute best path for themselves because it does not benefit us to do it any other way. When you're working with somebody that's not impartial, when you're working with somebody that has a dog in the race, so to speak, it's impossible for them to be unbiased because there's a commission waiting on the other end of the phone. Don't you find it interesting that if you're working with real estate agents, your real estate agent always seems to think that you need another, uh, another home, that you should be buying another house. Uh, even when I work with my closest friends who I'm certain have my best interests in mind, they're still encouraging 
moving into that direction. Same thing with my mortgage professionals. My mortgage professionals along the way over the years and years and years of interest rates being low, always seem to think that it's time to refinance. Haven't you experienced that? Refi, refi, refi. We've been hearing it for a decade and a half, almost two decades now. Um, so when there's a commission sitting there tempting somebody, uh, I'm not convinced that there isn't, that that's not playing a role in the recommendations that they're giving. In, in our situation, in our solution, that's just impossible to do because we offer a satisfaction warranty. So let's talk about what you should be looking for in order to protect yourselves from the scams that exist here, even on the YouTube platform. Number one, you've got to look into the terms and conditions of their satisfaction warranties. Just make sure that people are willing to back up what they say. If somebody's not willing to put their money where their mouths are, if you see something that says all sales final, then you might want to reconsider who you're working with. Why would somebody have to say all sales final? If they know they're going to take care of you and they take the time to, to vet you, if they take the time to make sure that your personality is a fit for them, then there's no reason to worry that they're going to be taken advantage of. That's why we're never taken advantage of because we stopped it. Years and years ago, when we had very, very minimal incidents of people that we felt were actually taking advantage of our knowledge, which we can't get back. You can't repackage our knowledge and give it back to us in the form of a return, right? So we're always on the losing end of any type of a re request to cancel a membership. So we're very careful to select our folks up front and not encourage people who aren't ready to move forward. So number one is how do people work their satisfaction guarantee? How do they guarantee that they're going to deliver to you what they promise? And if they don't, how are you protected? Now, the second thing that you have to be very, very careful to look for is an organization that does what they say they're going to do when they say they're going to do it. This was something that I learned back in Landmark Education. Landmark Forum is a video that we talked about. It was called Landmark Value of Time. You can check out that video at any point in time as well. That was a life changer for me. It was a, a completely new perspective about how business should be conducted. And all it did was reinforce the idea of punctuality and dependability. If you're not working with people who are dependable, who say what they mean and mean what they say, it's only gonna lead to disappointment. I just had this exact same thing happen last week. I was talking with one of my team members I've got a contractor that's bidding out on a property here in Denver. I've got a rental property where I want to put about $50,000 worth of repairs into it because I believe it will increase the value by about $100,000. I've been looking for contractors to offer bids. The first person that I pursued, I didn't even hear back from to do a walkthrough, even after promising that they were going to follow up and, and we would be doing this uh, in the near future. Number two, I found a secondary person because that person doesn't get a second chance. And that the second outfit actually went to the property, met with the tenants that are in that property right now, did an entire walkthrough. I was unable to go, so I asked if it would be appropriate for them to do it on their own. They assured me it was fine. That was a week ago. And they promised me that I would have that bid within five days. Now it's been seven. So what am I to think? Am I going to go into this relationship expecting them to follow through on the timelines and the financial budget that we set together? Absolutely not. How can I trust anything they say? Now, I'm always willing to leave room for human error. I'm not trying to suggest that we're perfect. I'm not trying to say that we haven't screwed up. But what I am going to say is we always circle around and make it right. So the third and final area that you can use to protect yourself beyond looking at the terms and conditions and how do they take care of you if you're unsatisfied and beyond making sure that people are actually following through when they say they're going to follow through is doing your own homework on reputations. Reputations will answer the questions you have about the first two bullet points. If somebody's not doing what they say they will, if somebody's not taking care of people who are unsatisfied, then you're going to see it online. That's the beauty of living in the future. We live in a day and age where we can benefit from other people's past experiences. And that's why we take such great pride in our reputation. An A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau being preserved for the last, I don't know, since 2000 and let's see, 12, I want to say 2011, I think we became accredited. You know, we've had a gold star rating with the Better Business Bureau now for at least five years, which is you have to have absolutely no negative information supported. In fact, I think there's well over a dozen positive 10 out of 10 feedback 
posts on the Better Business Bureau. Do you know how hard it is to reduce the number of dissatisfied comments on the internet to just a small handful, single digit? I can count them on one hand. Take a look at how we respond to those because it will show you the nature and character of our business. How are the other businesses that you're looking at working with responding to their naysayers? How are they responding to the people that have actually paid them money? Because the folks I work with, the turnkey ind individual that I've featured on this channel, this guy, if he's, uh, if anyone is unsatisfied, he doesn't want to work with you. He'll just give you your money back so that you guys can just part company in an, in an amicable manner so that he can go about his business and focus on people that are really happy. And that's the same way that we conduct business. So just go online and do your homework. If you're going to go into business with somebody and you're expected to pay thousands of dollars, then don't make the mistake of getting locked in with somebody that you're ultimately dissatisfied with down the road. And be very sure that they're offering the support and the one-on-one -on -one guidance necessary to actually make the most out of the products and the systems and the programs that they're selling you so that you're not out there trying to float around in, in this massive ocean by yourself hoping that you don't drown. It's not good enough to just simply cross your fingers, guys. So that would be my recommendation to you. Make sure you're checking the terms and conditions for satisfaction guarantees. Make sure you're checking to make sure that this is somebody that's actually following through when they say they're going to follow through. And number three, do your homework on reputations online because it will probably answer most of what you're looking for regarding the first two bullet points. I hope this helps, guys. Be very, very careful. It's extremely easy to come onto YouTube and say whatever the hell you want to say. But what you're looking for are people that are willing to undersell and over deliver. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. If you want help with your own finances, consider registering for your own one-on-one -on -one coaching session. We do offer one free coaching session to everybody who has at least $500 worth of positive cash flow each and every month. So if you are there, make sure you grab your session now. If you're not there, or you're unsure if you're there, make sure you get your cash flow cruncher worksheet. It's the most dynamic worksheet to manage your finances, your debts, and your investing goals that is currently available. I've never seen one that's more dynamic. The fields in this cash flow cruncher are unique. I've not found these fields in other spreadsheets. In fact, the individual that was sharing that he had invested $5,000 into one of these credit card building organizations is an engineer, extremely analytical, and found this cash flow cruncher worksheet to be the absolute best tool that he's ever used. In fact, said it was the only one he could even use because all the others were just simply unnecessarily complicated. Really enjoyed the session with this guy. I'd love to have a session with you guys too. Make sure you reserve yours now. If you're ready to just get started and you want help, you want help avoiding mistakes. I literally helped this individual avoid working with an organization that easily would have cost him tens of thousands of dollars. I did that on our call today and I can do the exact same thing for you. So if you're ready to dive in, grab one of our quick start vacancies and let's start making progress together. If you grab a quick start vacancy, we're going to have a review session in advance of simply diving in together to just simply make sure that this is a good partnership and that it's a good fit. Listen, it's basically a coin flip. We're gonna turn away as many people as we accept in. We don't have the space to be greedy. It's unnecessary. I don't care if I end up working with you or the next great compatible person in line. As long as it's a good fit, then we should work together. If it's not a good fit, then we shouldn't work together. It's quite simple. And we'll be able to help determine that with you. Guys, we'll look forward to seeing you on all of our next videos. Thank you so much for checking out this scam alert. Make sure you share this with your friends and family so that they're protected as well. It's up to us to make sure we unite against the folks that are out there just simply trying to make a quick buck. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Make it a great day and take care. The next winner is going to be added to a very, very long list of $25 gift card winners. So Ron, let's get your last name here. It's Ruggiero, Ru Ruggiero, Ruggiero, Ruggiero. Ron Ruggiero, sorry if I butchered that, Ron. Nonetheless, we loved your last comment, okay? We wanna support you. Ron has, uh, he's been consuming our videos now according to his comment for the last few weeks. And the last one he watched touched him the most. Uh, we wanna offer our deepest sympathy to Ron. He's gone through a number of challenges in life, including the loss of a child, uh, even a divorce after 30 years. Uh, Ron explained that he was losing hope even in himself. And that is not uncommon. When we experience tragedy, we start doubting everything. So our video actually gave him uh, new confidence that maybe he can, after 56 years of being on this earth, start something new. 
So he is starting to backtrack his way into his personal reasons why. Start to look for that purpose behind the motivation. And Ron, we want to support you. So let us get you started on the right foot with this $25 Amazon gift card. We want you to go out there and treat yourself to something really, really nice. You deserve it. And thank you so much for your viewership. Guys, if you want to be eligible, make sure you check the contest description below for details and get involved. All righty, guys. It's time for our announcement of the second uh, Skype contest winner. We're doing one of these each and every month. And this basically means that whoever wins this contest gets to have a video conference with me. We're going to schedule it whenever we can both do it, maybe even on the weekend. But we're going to carve out a nice, long, two-hour chunk of window in order to make sure that you feel as confident as possible at the game plan that you're going on. And I am so, so pleased to announce that this month's selected winner is Jesse Passor. Jesse, boy, oh boy, we were stoked to see your comment. Jesse says that him and his wife just bought their very first house because of the VIP Financial Ed YouTube videos. Very, very grateful, humble gentleman. We, we complimented him. He came back and said that we've played not just a huge role in helping them get into their home, but their next goal is to start buying some rental property. So we're going to talk all about finding some investments, whether it be rentals or flipping. It looks like you may be interested in flipping as well. Please be sure to reach out, Jesse. We've, we've got to make contact with you. I want to say congratulations uh, through video to our entire audience, to you. And any one of you can win this contest. We do this once per month. We're doing that all the way until October. And any of you have an equal chance of winning. You've just got to become a subscriber. Make sure you're liking the videos as you see content that relates to you. Make sure you're leaving comments in all of those videos. And then we select from those comments the monthly winner. So, Jesse, I can't wait for our phone conversation. It's going to be terrific. Make sure you reach out. Contact us at vipfinancialeducation.com to claim that prize. My brand manager, Mike, will be in touch with you. And uh, we're going to have a great time. We're going to make some terrific headway. And that's true with every single one of you that win this contest moving forward. So Jesse, you're happy to be next on the list. Let's rock and roll, friend.